There are two bones in each of our forearms. They work as a tuning fork. Can you hear them ringing? Can you hear the sounds you carry in the night? This morning, I woke to an old echo crawling from me as though I was full of hibernating things. I gathered as many anvils as I could find. I arranged them before me like drums, took a hammer up in each fist, and I began to play. After every clang, my arms shivered like taut ropes, and that sound grew louder. It was the tolling of church bells, a wedding toast among blacksmiths. I raised them to my ears. I swore I could hear John Henry swinging inside them. I hear that lost art, the culture of building, of letting blood drip into the mouth of craft. In every swing, I searched so desperately to hear an America that believed in the sanctity of labor. In every swing, I'm reminded that this America has never existed. Whether you have cotton, or apples, or coal, or railroad tracks in your blood, your sweat is a language this country is trying to forget. It is a language we are told to be ashamed of, to practice be black light and dusk. We are told to bury our history in neckties and suits. The only history I trust is the one written by calloused hands. Written by the laborers we named a street after and called it even Dear America. Do not call yourself a Christian nation and forget that Christ was a carpenter. Do not press the people closest to the man you pretend to worship, the humble, the poor, and the working. America is the father who tells his son to pull himself up by his bootstraps but gives him no shoes. America is the father who beats his children, calls them ungrateful the day they fight back. America is the body of a piano, the keys a spine, the keys a chain gang black and white. The overseer is a pianist of backs composing across the skin. He may play us, but he does not own this sound. He does not own the ringing of sweat or vibration of arms, or that our hammers, or that our strings. He's only a ventriloquist of ghosts, pounding his fingers across the illusion of power. Each morning, I play the anvil until the hammer breaks, or I do. This is the sound of spark and penance, a sound lost in the deaf ears of a country built on the backs of a stolen people, a country built hollow and burning like a pipe organ of cannons. Today, as I broke into sweat thick as blood, I played the anvil like a swarm of 22 caliber wasps lost in the light belly of a church bell. I played the anvil like a bat calling to the dark. The answer is in the sound that returns. This is a litany, the anvil of preacher, armoring in bones, a choir singing back. If I have ever found God, it is at the end of every swing. Listen to your arms. We may live in a sleeping country, but we still carry the sound in the night, and heaven is a forge. Heaven is an army of welders telling me to wake up. Wake up and sweat. <laughs>